going to play the last two measures preceded by the last note in measure two. Here's the last note in measure two. I'm going to count measure two and bring that note in on the correct beat and then I'll proceed to play measures three and four. Here is the counting in measure two. One and two and three and Once again, I'm going to play the last two measures preceded by the last note in measure two. I'm going to begin counting in measure two. One and two and three and Now I'm going to play all four measures. This is the last time you will hear it. One and two and three and. Question five. Identify the following scales as major, madge, or natural minor, nat min. I'll play each scale two times. Example A. Again. Example B. Again. Example C. Again. Question six. You will hear seven descending intervals in a major scale, all beginning on treble C. Write the type and size of each interval on the lines below on your paper. Each interval will be major or perfect. Refer to the chart on the previous page. Example A. Again. Example B. Again. Example C. Example D. Example E. Example F. Example F. 
example G. Now I'm going to play each example one final time. Example A. Example B. Example C. Example D. Example E. Example F. Example G. Question 7. Melodic Dictation. Complete the four measure melody in the key of D major. Be sure to end on the key note. You may have to write quarter, half, dotted half, whole, two beamed eighth notes, or dotted quarter notes in this exercise. Here is the D major scale. The D major triad and your key note D. I'll follow the same procedure that I did before. Beginning in measure one, four, four time. One and two and three and four and. Now we will sing the four measures. One and two and three and four and la, 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 Now I'm going to play the first two measures. One and two and three and four and. Now I'm going to play the first two measures again. Three and four and. Now I'm going to play the last two measures preceded by the last note of measure two. Here's the last note of measure two. I'm going to count measure two and bring that note in on the proper beat and then play measures three and four. Here's measure two counting. One and two and three and four and.
Once again, I'm going to play the last two measures preceded by the last note of measure two. Here's the last note of measure two. One and two and three measure two. Now I'm going to play all four measures. This is the last time you're going to hear it. Starting measure one. Three and four and. The answers and musical examples for each ear training drill can be found in the corresponding Theory Time Teacher's Edition. Contact your local music dealer or visit theorytime.com to order this product.